Good afternoon, everyone. Undersecretary Claire Dennis S. Mapa, National Statistician and Civil Registrar General <clears throat> of the Philippine Statistics Authority, honorable mayors of the local government in the Collab Dev Coalitions, presidents of the partner state universities and colleges, other esteemed local partners from civil society, academia, and public and private sectors. Ladies and gentlemen, Magandang Hapon Po. I represent the United States Agency for International Development, also known as USAID. USAID is the lead US government agency for international development and humanitarian assistance. Today's event recognizes the creativity and resourcefulness of local actors and their unique ability to drive their own development. Through our Local Works program, USAID supports these organizations with resources, tools, and opportunities to try new and unique approaches to address development challenges in their communities. The Philippines has had a long history and rich culture of working with local organizations. This year marks the 60th anniversary of USCID in the Philippines. We have worked with the Philippine government and local organizations to achieve shared development goals, having invested more than 247 billion pesos since 1961. Since the 1980s, we are proud to have supported civil society organizations so that they are able to contribute meaningfully in addressing the challenges facing their communities. Civil society organizations have implemented a wide array of initiatives that tackle evolving economic, political, and social challenges, as well as demand greater accountability from both the public and private sectors. Today, I am pleased that USAID continues to support local organizations through the two and a half year, $1.5 million locally led partnership called CollabDev, which is short for Coalescing Organizations Towards Locally Led Actions to Boost Development. CollabDev seeks to strengthen the capability of local actors to use data and evidence in identifying priorities in participating in policy reforms in order to advance human capital and economic developments in the Philippines. The project will work with local government units, state universities and colleges, and a network of partners from the civil society organizations in 10 sites located in Sorsagan, Leyte, Eastern Samar, Misa, sorry, Misamis Oriental, and Sultan Kudarat. Sorry for any mispronunciation. Collab Dev was selected from numerous well thought out concept papers from civil society organizations, academia, professional group and face-based organizations, among others. Through the process of co-creation, USAID engaged the top applicants, which helped them sharpen their objectives and align their activities with our mutual development goals and led to the selection of action for economic reforms as our implementing partner. We understand that each of the local coalitions has identified a priority development challenge towards which data and evidence will be used to develop the appropriate policies and programs to solve the challenges and achieve the goals. Our hope is that our LGU partners will strengthen and sustain the use of evidence in development policy and programming 
and guide the allocation of resources. I understand that under CollabDev, the local governments here today will also begin building their local statistics offices, including hiring local statisticians. We believe that this is a strong first step in institutionalizing the use of data and evidence in governance, as well as enhancing transparency and accountability to the public. We are happy that the local state universities and colleges will learn from and contribute to data collection, analytics, and evidence-based policy and program developments in collaboration with the technical experts in data management. Civil society partners complete the local partnership with their deep understanding of the development sectors and their needs and the policies and programs that work. As we celebrate the 60th anniversary of USAID's presence in the Philippines, as well as the 75th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between our two countries, I look forward to our continuing collaboration with Philippine local leaders and actors as we pursue our shared goal of inclusive and resilient growth for all Filipinos. Maraming salamat po and padayong.